You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, God damn it! Get the point good. And now... Fendo. Y'all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. I wasn't real sure I was going to be able to do that this evening. Holy macanoli. And here I was trying to make myself have a nice day and dang opera. Stupid browser. I'm going to have to Grammy said to try Brave. So as soon as I get done with the show tonight, I'm switching over to that Brave browser. Check that bad boy out. See how it works. Because, um, yeah, Opera's kind of ticking me off just a wee bit here. In any case, y'all are listening to Grammy Mary and my rocket chair here on this wacka 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 doodle Wednesday. And man, oh man, my computer's been whacked. That's all there is to it. And you know what? Speaking of have a nice day, how about this? Instead of have a nice day, I think I'll start saying have the day you deserve. You know, let karma sort that shit out. (laughs) And man, if this is karma, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. Honest and for true. I mean, I wouldn't lie to you. And no, I would. I know better than to lie to Karma because she comes back and bites you in the backside just when you least expect it. Not that you would ever be expecting Karma to come bite you in the backside, but hey, just putting that out there. Okay, let me see. On Twitter, thank you, Barman and uh, Ramcho. Let me see if I can get it to work now. Because Twitter kind of locked up, and I had another link that locked up. So let's see if maybe um, Twitter will open now. Which, you know, if it doesn't, it's like, eh. Although I do get quite a few really interesting links off of Twitter. And that last one, it was Tucker Carlson, actually. And he was going off about how, you know, Jesse Smollett, um, you know, he's he may not be innocent. He's just a better class. Really? Seriously? I don't think so. No such critter as a better class, hun. And those people out there that seem to think that they're above the law, I got to tell you, I really do. Most of us are above the law because the law is that little glass floor that when you sink to a level that is no longer acceptable by society or your peers or your family or just your loved ones when you sink to a level that's no longer acceptable behavior with them then you've broken the law so just putting that out there and you know what twitter's not going to wake up so that's just fine i'll just go ahead and close that bad boy doesn't bother me none in any case hi if you're listening from twitter if you're not well i guess my saying hi ain't gonna make two shits so hello rascal I know, my key cat's trying to help again. Okay, over here on Fakey Book, Bubs is here, and so is Darren. Hi, Bubs and Darren. How are you guys doing? On that reallibertyorg site, telling me, Opera, you're being an obnoxious twit is what you're being. And I may just have to close Opera and reopen because it's not wanting to. In any case, hello everybody over on realliberty.org. Last time I checked, last I checked, there was Grimm and Rob Works and I think Vinny was on and maybe Cowboy Tech. Um, Let me see if that effing site, Freedoms Network, nope. So I'm just going to go ahead and close Opera. Say the hell with that. Go ahead. And if I have to, I will do this one. I know it's running, but I have my tab up. And if it's going to be a total douchebag, there we go. Yes, uh, the program is not responding. And now it's ticking me off. Getting on my nerves. All that fun stuff. Okay, uh, so 
um, and Mines. Hello, anybody over on Mines? I'm sure Grimmy has already shared it, or should I say Barman has let everybody know over on Mines that, yeah, that crazy Grammy lady's live. Um, and let's see, where else? Yeah, I know Opera is not responding, computer. It keeps popping up telling me it's not responding. It's not responding. You think I didn't notice that? I may be a little bit slow on the uptake, but I kind of noticed that. <laughs> just just a little um do what frumpy what was that hun oh <laughs> could quite possibly be could quite possibly be okay let me see i'm gonna try and reopen it now just because and if it opens then things will be kosher and if it doesn't then i'll open water fox and uh pull up my pocket in there so that'll learn them and if that don't work well I guess I'll just have to back up and punt won't I <sighs> it is a wackadoodle Wednesday and actually it's my third Monday of the week <laughs> I bet y'all didn't know that um, time is a circular thing and you know I'm playing Groundhog Day even though it's no longer Groundhog Day I am doing that it's like what the hey what the hey well, apparently, Opera is not wishing to play. Although I do get the little swirly from hell. <laughs> Me and my buttons. I love buttons, not so much. Okay. I uh, guess I'll just come on over here to realliberty.com com reallibertymedia.com for those of you that are listening in on Spreaker, uh, come on over to reallibertymedia.com, click on the uh, chat thing think of a nickname and jump on in give me some static i'll give it back because quite frankly i'm having um browser issues tonight i know it shocks you that i ever have issues with my computer you think maybe there's somebody out there that doesn't want me doing this <laughs> oh grams you're just a silly old woman out in the middle of flyover country do they really care about you? You know, it's us. It's those of us that, you know, the little ones that have a tendency to um, tick off the leeches that be. Don't you know? Because we're the ones that don't shut up. <laughs> we're not infamous enough or famous enough to really get, you know, the big attention. But, yeah, there are times. Um, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, you've been using it for, oh, sweet. Thanks for the info there, Sock Puppet. As soon as I can get mine to, um, oh, I think maybe Opera is actually trying to open up now. I hope it is. It's got the funny little, hmm, come on, Opera. I know you're not responding, you stupid thing. Okay, back to saying hey, or maybe start saying hey over here in the reallibertymedia.com chat. I got Barman right up top. He's the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, closely followed by Cowboy Tech, who's still waiting for his adult beverage. Barman, come on, hop to it. Um, Grimner is also here. He is the RLM god, don't you know, or the creator of RLM. I also see the lovely Moose Goyle is here, and Moosey checked her weather just a little bit ago. How is it? I didn't even, I just saw you checked your weather, hun. I didn't look to see what it is. It got up to 77 degrees out here in the boonies. I know, it's a shocker. And then we're supposed to possibly have snow on um, Friday. It's like, what the? You know, this part of the country is, you know, welcome to You don't have to be crazy to live here, but it sure as heck helps. Um Okay, you're gr Frumpy, are you blaming Grim? <laughs> you go ahead and you blame Grimmy, but I know whose fault it is. I probably pushed a button. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. I'll stumble through, even if I just prattle along about absolutely nothing. You know, like that great big 10-ton nothing burger. How can a nothing burger be 10 tons? Uh, only in my imagination can it be. But that 10-ton nothing burger of Russia did it. Man, I listened to some videos today about they're still stuck on Russia did it. Russia's colluding with somebody, and they know it's got to be old Trumples. Got to be. 
because they don't like him because he's he's stepping on their toes oops you know i love to see this i really do it's quite amazing actually um oh rome's just popped in too in any case i have to finish saying hey don't i um miss kate is here miss kate i also saw on the weather channel earlier today that you've got some not so pleasant weather going on down in florida i hope you're not in the middle of all that fun stuff and looky here um oh, okay i'm reading the chat too dc is also here as well as asmo hey mr asmodius asmo and chalsa denis got the o right out of there i'm here ib don c is also here as well as java 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 doctor too meister bra hey dude how's things going for you down there in the desert i also see ponder gander here hey vinnie the lovely rain is also in the chat as well as rob Boy. Did you fire up that bubbler, hun, and I just missed it? I must have missed it. I did not get stoned and missed it. I just missed it. I saw methane emissions. Who's doing methane emissions in the chat? Cut that out. You're going to have old crazy old come into the chat. That would not be fun. Not at all. Okay, back to saying hey. Vanna White. Oh, nope, wait. I got to say Rome's first. Hey, Rome's. How you doing? The new one's chromium-based. Old one is, oh, muon based. Sweet. Thanks for that info, Rome's. You know, if opera doesn't pull its head out of its backside, I'm still a black screen with opera. I know it's not loading. Don't give me that notice. Moving along. Um, Vanna, there. Vanna White. Yeah, she's the one that gives us all of our weather and tells us all kinds of other fun things because, you know, I called her Vanna White because it was fluky. Because fluky's kind of fluky, which is why I gave said that it was female because us females can be kind of fluky from time to time. Just saying. Chromium. Hmm. Yeah, I, isn't that what opera is too? It's a chromium or good... good some kind of whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Vinny! I see you, Vinny. I also see W4DKY or DKV, excuse me, have to move my cursor. That helps. Weather Dork is also here as well as Z Beth Z. Hey, Phantom. Once again, thank you, darling, for the intro that you did for my show. I truly do appreciate it. Beetle! Hey, Beetle, where's Pippi? Is she on your lap? Is she listening? Just curious. Colfax 101 is also here, as well as Cyborg Noodle. And looky there, Dakota. Hi, Dakota. How you doing, hun? Frumpy 2 is also in the house. Frumpy's from Great White Nort in Knuckistan. Gooberzilla. Hey, Goob. How's things in your world? I also see Gromit is here, as well as JJ's. JJ's even popped into the chat while I was even, like, paying attention to the chat. How's things in your neck of the woods, JJ's? Hope nothing's too blustery, but, you know, blowing that kilt up or nothing. Don't want to have that happening. I also see Kozu is in the house, as well as Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> That's that's when I see kid that's what I think of. Sorry. Moy 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 is also here as well as pom 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 sauce and looky there some sock puppet. I got oh yeah, I already told you guys I got a sock monkey from my mom. I took it to work and I told the gals at work that when things get a little bit crazy, you know, and you don't want to tell someone have a nice day, you just want to tell them oh, may karma give you just exactly what you deserve. You know, it's the karma cafe. And you don't have to order because Karma knows what she's going to be serving you. But, um, yeah, I took that sock monkey to work and I said, if you want, if someone's just making you so cranky that you just want to give them a hug around the neck until it turn into a smurf, use the sock monkey. Or if you just want to sock it, just sock it. You know, vent your frustrations on the little sock monkey because it's not like he's going to do anything. And, you know, the first person, I say person, first person that attacked the sock monkey was the cat. Him <laughs> darn cats. Oh, well. I also see Specialed is in the chat. Specialed, I saw that you were emitting F uh, methane earlier, but you're 
uh, nickname was different at the time. What was that? Flatulent, flatulent Earth. That's what it was. Yeah. Hmm. Honey, you might want to get your diet checked. Um, Salamo. Is that how you say that? Salamo is here. As well as Techman. Hey, Techman, I could use some technical support because my opera's just being a total douche. A total. I just closed it because it's ticking me off. That's all there is to it. And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Uno over here in the RLM chat. And in the Red Pill chat, for those that are not playing in the RLM, I also see F. Canella is over here, as well as Juana Taco and Katie Troxel and Soily. Hi, Soily. How you doing, hon? Haven't seen you chat in a while. Is Weather Dork over here? Weather Dork is over here, and I didn't say hi, or did I say hi? I don't know. I'm going to see if I can open my um, water fox, seeing as how Opera is being a total poo-poo head. Big old meanie poo-poo head. Hmm. So, what happened today? Um, there was a lot more of wailing and gnashing of teeth, and someone really needs to call a ambulance for all those liberals and those in CNN and MSNBC, you know, crying about there was, it was a nothing burger, <laughs> but there's no calories, which means that they won't sneak into your closet in the middle of the night and sew your clothes a little bit tighter. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see what else was going on today. Um, nasty weather, which I really think that's weather wars. I honest to God do. I think they have been perfecting it for quite some time. And now that they have decided that, ooh, we the people are starting to speak up. We don't like it when they do such things. Maybe we should start old kaboominum. You know, with lightning and, and floods and frogs and toads and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if they want to be... They have the toys. You know they do. Come on, Water Fox. Don't you be a douche, too. Because if you keep that up, then I'm going to have to break down and, and do Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Frumpy, for letting him know. It's all good. Okay. Let's see. Break down. Open up Firefox. See if that one will. I'm gonna. You know what's gonna happen with all these buttons that I'm pushing? <laughs> By the way, for those of you that don't know, I'm playing on a Windows 7 computer that every once in a while has issues. <laughs> I'm going to milk this baby until she can't work no more. Come on, sweetheart. You know. You know you love me. You know you do. Please, please be a nice computer and let me finish this. Oh, I'm going to have three browsers pop up at the same time. You know that, don't you? And then I'm going to sit here and go, whoa. <laughs> but in the meantime, let's see. What all is shared over here in the red pill? Because, yeah, none of the browsers are wanting to open. This is just ever so much fun. Uh, leftist professor says that she knows Trump colluded um, because of TV and newspapers. Well, honey, I'm happy for you. Yes. Programming worked quite well for you, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, a New Zealand mosque chairman is blaming the Christchurch massacre on Mossad. Well, that's over on Live Leak. Link, live Leak. There you go. It's a Live Leak. Uh, oh, and Nutty Yahoo. Um, New York Times corrects Obit on Israeli spy minister <laughs> or spy master to erase his role in uranium heist. Uh, good old Nutty Yahoo. Yeah, let's see. And what's this one? Democrat leaders use of APAC to bash Omar and ignore Nutty Yahoo. Just give progressive Dems a giant boost. Well, you know, sometimes they need a little booster chair because their behavior makes them, you know, everyone else kind of sees them as being petulant little three-year-olds. Yes, they are. Ooh, Alan Dershowitz, how CNN misled its viewers. You know, 
people can only be misled if they're willing to be misled. And most of the time, they don't even know that they're being misled. They just know that they're being led by the little ring in their nose. Mm, you people, come on. It's really not that hard to just wakey-wakey to some of this nonsense that's going on out there. All you got to do is, you know, like flip that little switch in the back of your brain that, you know, it's labeled critical thinking. I know you haven't used it much. There's quite a few people out there that probably have, you know, cobwebs and that kind of stuff growing around it. Maybe a, a few dust bunnies guarding it because, you know, run away, run away. It's a scary monster. Monty Python. <clears throat> In any case, what's this one? Uh, government bureaucrat get triggered when pro-alien or il pro-illegal alien sheriff gets reamed by American. Ooh, that sounded painful. Um, in the culture of corruption, Cook County clerk shocked that no written motions were filed in dismissal of Smollett's case. Yeah, good Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. First, they showed that they had 16 felonies against him. And all of a sudden, it's magic. Fuck you. They're all gone. They're all gone. Why? Because, well, Jesse's a special. Yes. Oh, I have two water foxes opening now. <laughs> Isn't that special? Now stop that. Don't be giving me that static. Oh, and Firefox. <laughs> I told you I was going to have it. I told you. Okay. Who's a damn tinfoil hatter? I am. I have a different tinfoil hat for every day of the week. Um. Um. No. No, I'm not going to do a hard boot. Although, when I get done, and after I get done doing my um, podcast and everything, I will uh, shut this bad boy down and... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got water foxes. Wait. Don't give me this. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna... Don't push me. I'm gonna... Okay, there's Mozilla. It's doing it again. So we'll just go ahead and close it. And uh, don't you guys just love this play-by-play? -play? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, suffering. Don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, isn't it? Huh, and I don't even have my tablet. What? I know. Script on the page may be busy and will not stop script. Just, you know what? Stop it. And then do that. And then do... Wow. I love computers. Rally, I do. <laughs> It's a freaking inanimate object and it's showing me the, that it's got the better of me. And it's like... Stop it. Just stop it. Okay? You're really ticking me off here. I know. I told you. Stop. Okay. Back to what are you guys doing over here? Thank you. <laughs> Did I really sock? I almost went all Sheila on you. You know, I, I've noticed of late that, that my accents are really starting to suck big time. You know, except for the southern y'all. It looks like you haven't started Firefox in a while. That's right, I haven't. And I'm trying to close it right now. Thank you ever so much. Now, um, I'm going to close this one, if it will let me. Because I have two water foxes open. <laughs> I know you're doing that. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. I love my job. You know, you guys get what you pay for, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is most definitely, um, yeah. Okay. Well, Water Fox is, oh, and it's a new release. Why, thank you, Water Fox, for letting me know that. 
Okay. Um, da dun dun dun. Twitter opens in Water Fox. Hey, a generation which ignores history has no past and no future. That's true, Puck Arts. That is true. And you know, the reason why the past is there is so you can look back on it and go, oh man, that was not exactly the smartest move. Don't you know? So, okay, we'll close that one. And scientists capture. Wow. Cool. Well, my water fox is working. It's slow, but it is working. So I'm going to see. If I could, because it did say something about it, did not like pocket. And I'm saying, yes, you do. Although I think the uh, article I was wanting to go to was not in my pocket. I had just opened it. <laughs> so it's like, sunny beaches. Um, what's that, Grim? Yeah, I know, Grim. There are some underlying issues going on with my PC. And I've been really, really, really trying to, you know, keep using this one for broadcasting, but I think, I think I'm going to have to move over to the other computer. I didn't want to, because that means having you load all the software and then me being retrained, because, yeah, I have an awful lot of really mature blonde hair. <laughs> And so, and so, um, yeah, Grammy nerd. I'm not, I'm really not that much of a nerd sock, but thank you. It would be cool if I could be. Hey, you know what? I have PI Gazette on here. I have Twitter. I have Facebook. I have reallibertymedia.com. I have Amazon that I really don't need. Um, where's my pocket? Tell you what, I'm just going to go to. It's probably not going to work anyway. So there. I And it probably would help if I would shut this computer down too. <laughs> but it has issues. And I don't like shutting it down. I put it to sleep or I hibernate it. Hmm. But in the interim, let's go check out PIGazette.com. You know, just because I need to see what happened this date in history anyway, right? Right. Right. And, you know, what's happening right now is just a bunch of stuff and nonsense anyway. Really. All the world's a stage, and we got a bunch of B and D and F actors, because, man, they sure as heck aren't A-list. That's for darn sure. Okay, the word of the day over here, according to Hambo and Porkus on PIGazette.com, is domestic tranquility. <laughs> really? It's a mythical state of male-female sociability that hasn't existed in a known universe since old Kaboom got a case of uh, cutes and created Eve from Adam's rib. Yeah, well, you know, Adam was lonely and... Um, well, Graham, I do have blue hair and purple hair too, but most of it is mature blonde. <laughs> Underneath all of that, and it's not blue, it's teal. Oh, hey, opera's trying to open. Well, there you go. We'll see if it does it. Mm. In any case, in my quotable quote section, the U.S. Constitution is, by design, very hard to amend. The progtards have a better idea. If you can't amend it, simply ignore the parts that you don't like. That's according to the Free State of Pig. Uh, thank you, Hambo and Porcus. Y'all are just awesome when you come up with your wonderful little verbiage. I love that. Um, ooh, electoral, co electoral College versus Popular Vote. So this is the explanation that they stole from another post. For all the people who fell asleep in civics class and want to put a stop to the Electoral College, which, yeah, way back when they still had civics class, Number one, there are 3,141 counties in the United States. Trump won 2,626 of them. Clinton won 487. Number two, there are 62 counties in New York State. Trump won 46 of them. Clinton won 16. Number three, Quentin, Clinton, quit, quit, Quentin, Quentin, yeah, shrillery. Let's just say shrillery, okay? Because we all know her by shrillery. 
um, or Hitlery, whichever, they both work. Um, Shrillery won the popular vote by approximately 1.5 million votes. Really? Really? Oh, yeah, that's right. They had all of those magic ballots that showed up from out of nothingness. Kind of like the Fed when it prints more money. We're just making money out of nothing. It doesn't grow on trees. It grows in the Fed. Cha-ching. Number four. In the five counties that encompass NYC, which is the Bronx, Bron uh, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Richmond, and Queens, Shrillery received well over two million more votes than Trumple Silskin. Shrillery only won four of these counties. Trumpel won Richmond, therefore these five counties alone more than accounted for <coughs> Shrillery winning the popular vote for the entire country. Really? That totally sucks. Number five, these five counties comprise 319 square miles. The United States is comprised of 3,797,000 square miles. That's a lot of square miles. Number six, when you have a country that encompasses almost 4 million square miles of territory, it would be ludicrous to even suggest that the vote of those who inhabit a mere 319 square miles could dictate the outcome of a national selection. Now, that's kind of sort of like, um, what was that? Uh, yeah, day, day, day. Oh, with Katniss. Now, see, I'm brain farting here. Uh, Hunger Games. Yeah, is that what it was? With Katniss? I really like Katniss. I really did. My grandkids got me started doing that one. Now, back to this. Um, now, the large, densely populated Democratic cities, New York, uh, New York City, Chicago, L.A., etc., don't and shouldn't speak for the rest of the country. No, they should not, because that's where the nut jobs live. You know, they all get together in a little cluster so that they don't feel quite so... Because sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. And when you don't, you live out in the boonies because you don't want to have all those people around you. Only nuts like to congregate together like that. Ugh. So, back to this. And this, children, is why the Electoral College. It's a safety net so that everyone's vote counts. Okay, they count them. I'll give you that. Maybe not, maybe they use, um, um, you know, Common Core for the math, but they count them, don't they? Oh, well, ladies and gents, this is why... Democrats want to nullify the Electoral College, and removing it will effectively give one party this, or a one-party state that is only voted on by a few counties in the USA. The rest of us won't count anymore. So, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't count anymore. And, you know, and I'm really amazed at how many people can't even count on their freaking fingers anymore. Public educraption at its finest. It's really sad. It's really sad. When people cannot make change <laughs> without having a computer screen telling them how much. When schools start taking the clocks, you know, with the clock face out of the classrooms because the kids can't read a clock face. You know the educraption system has done exactly what it was designed to do. Feed you full a bunch of crap that they want you to regurgitate. Oh, it's done a fine job. It was designed precisely for that purpose. Now, this date in history, the 27th of March, 1972. An era comes to a close at the University of Kentucky when legendary basketball coach Adolph Rupp retires after 42 years at courtside. Holy mackinoli. How many people actually spend 42 years at one job anymore? I haven't ever anywhere. Well, except for being a mom. No, I haven't even been a mom 42 years yet. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I'll get there, my pretties. In any case, the 27th of March. Did I say March the first time or did I say February? Uh, Back to it. 
the uh, 27th of March, 1980. Uh, Mount St. Helens goes off its medication after a 123-year quiet spell and starts gearing up to scare the pants off of the great Northwest nitwits. Scare the pants off of them. Oh, that is a scary thought. Yes, opera has... Oh, hey. 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 I have opera. Or at least I have tabs. Cool. So, where was the one that I wanted to get to? Ah, the one that uh, Rob Works shared. And you know, sometimes it's these weird ones that... It's from the madnesshub.com by the way and experts uh, call for the word cyclist to be removed it's still doing the swirly thing but it, hey 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 it's doing something it's doing something moosey yeah just us system that is true it is just us because we take this little thing that looks like a stick but it's got this ooey gooey stuff that comes out of the middle of it it's really cool you wouldn't understand though because this is like science but we take this stick with the gooey stuff that that'll stain you we take it out um oh i don't really want to be older rob but yeah, in any case, back to my stick with the gooey stuff. <laughs> uh, they take that stick with the gooey stuff inside, and they start making all of these little squiggles and circles and all of these other little symbols on a piece of paper. It's really cool. They start doing this, and then they all get together, and they piss and moan and bitch and groan about those squiggles because you know some of them don't like the way those squiggles are on there and some of them don't like all those cycles and so they'll piss and moan and bitch and groan but you know that's all for show and then eventually they will go okay it's a law it's a law why because we said so because we're the boss, applesauce, don't you know? Doesn't make any difference that the uh, Constitution, as we had been taught in civics class, um, we, the people, is the boss, applesauce. No, no, somehow or another, the turds got wormed around. And that's not the way it rolls anymore, at least according to them. Them. So, guess what? All my pontificating, <laughs> Pla prattling and blathering and all of that other fun stuff. Guess what? Who? Hootie Doody Weddy? Madoff still in prison? I think he is. Why? Bernie? Bernie. Okay. Well, my opera has decided to cooperate at least with this link so I'm gonna get to it because I thought wackadoodle Wednesday I mean you just can't get much better than this from the madness hub experts call for the word cyclist to be banned because it dehumanizes people who ride bikes y'all have been trying to dehumanize us for how many decades now although uh, what is it from black's dictionary human means monster doesn't it? do i remember that correctly please please let me know in the chat i would appreciate it um but it dehumanizes people who ride bikes duh duh i actually pay closer attention to people riding bikes than i do people in cars even though i know people in cars could probably cause me more damage but I would really not like to run over somebody on a bike. That So I pay very close attention. And you know why? Because most of the time they don't pay a freaking bit attention to the people in the cars. Because they think, I'm on a bike. I have right of way. Sweetheart, right of way don't mean doodly squat when you got several thousand pounds coming at you at 50 mile an hour. There's something about this whole law of inertia. <laughs> yeah. Look it up. Do some research flip that that critical thought switch that you haven't used in a while that probably be helpful okay according to this article experts have called the word cyclist to be banned because they believe that the term dehumanizes people who ride bikes now a new study conducted by researchers at queensland university of technology 
and Monash University found there was a link between the dehumanization of cyclists and deliberate acts of aggression directed towards them on the road. Have you ever stopped to think that maybe it wasn't necessarily the driver of the vehicle, although I will admit the most dangerous component of any motorized vehicle any actually the most dangerous component of anything that that's got a wheel or got some method of steering is the nut holding the wheel look at that however you wish to so <clears throat> but maybe just maybe the bicyclist was being a, a total just me i've encountered some of them and there have been times when it was like, they're not worth the jail time. They're not worth the jail time. You really don't want to, no, you don't want to go there. Just don't, just, just let them, let them go. Let them, let them pedal off and be free. <sighs> no matter how tempting it is. In any case, to continue with this, QUT professor Narell Haworth said that the, or said the study, which can, questioned 442 people in Victoria um, and S or NSW in Queensland found 55% of non-cyclists rated cyclists as not completely human. <laughs> really? I want to see that survey. I want to know what kind of options they were given. You know, because surveys are interesting creatures. The questions that they ask and how the data is collected, it's really quite fascinating. You need to, whenever you see something there where it says, survey says, such and such percent, how did you gather that information? That's what I want to see. So I know just exactly how you came to that conclusion. Because, you know, I know I've said this before, but it's just like with the cancer studies, you know, with not saying cigarettes are good for you, but... When they say you're twice as likely to die of lung cancer if you smoke cigarettes, although with our current, um, all of the geoengineering that's going on in the sky, especially, yeah, today they've tic-tac-toed like crazy in my sky. Um, <clears throat> but with all of the uh, um, craziness going on out there, and then, you know, I think, lung cancer is probably going to be pretty pretty contagious anymore with all the crap they've got in our atmosphere but when they say you're twice as likely to die of lung cancer if you smoke as opposed to someone that doesn't smoke you got to stop and realize they had a hundred smokers they had a hundred non-smokers they had two people out of that hundred smokers that died of lung cancer they had one person in the hundred non-smokers that died of lung cancer. Therefore, you are twice as likely to die of lung cancer. That's how they came up with that. So you need to look at the numbers and how they gathered it. What questions they asked. Because it's freaking nutsoid. No, uh, sock, arterial red is not a good color in Kansas. No, no, it's not. <laughs> cigs are like they're like the ultimate vitamin well you know they do have nicotine and sometimes that's the only thing that keeps people alive around me <laughs> oh me and my weeds me and my weeds okay so moving along back to this inhuman cyclists now um Let's see, Professor Haworth, who is also the director of the Center for Accident Research and Road Safety in Queensland, said that it's important for drivers to view cyclists as real people. But they're not in those little cages with four wheels. How can they be real people? Uh, so, if we use the term people on bikes instead of cyclists, oh my freaking God. <laughs> We're giving a term that is more human-like and less like a species. <laughs> you guys are really, wow. And people call me nuts. Wow. I guess to be deemed crazy in an insane world is, is almost like a badge of honor, isn't it? Hmm. 
Professor Haworth uh, said that banning the word cyclist wasn't the only solution to change the negative attitude towards them. How about you teach cyclists road rules? Huh? How about you teach them that those things are a lot bigger than they are and to not be just darting out in front of them willy-nilly and then saying, well, it was the car's fault. If you darted in front of them, they can only stop so fast. I can tell you this because last night driving home on a two-lane highway with really deep ditches on either side and very little shoulder on the road, I had a deer right in the middle of the road. I was doing 65. I went from 65 to damn near nothing real fast. And I tell you what, it took me about 20 miles for my backside to unclench. And that wasn't the only deer there. There was like four off to the side and another one coming up on the road and one down in the ditch. And yeah, talk about butt puckers are us. I had one. <laughs> A massive one. But I didn't hit any deer. Thank God. Even though, you know, when I slowed down for it and the person behind me didn't hit me, which is even more bonus points. But I slowed down for it and it started going down in the ditch and I thought, ah, oh, cool, it's all good. And then it went, nope, fake you out, turn and come right back in front of me. So, mm, you got to watch out for them critters, though, God, especially out here in the middle of nowhere because they're everywhere. <laughs> Kind of like cyclists. <laughs> I stop for them too. No matter how tempting. I don't want to total my car out. I kind of like my car. In any case, <clears throat> back to this. He says, we need to spread the idea that those people, cyclists, could be any of us. And there is a need to grow a culture of mutual respect for people on bikes. Oh, and people on bikes need to actually have a little bit of respect for motorized ve vehicles. Okay, there's two sides to that coin. Professor Haworth said banning the word cyclist wasn't the only solution to change the negative attitudes towards them. You said that already, sweetheart. Infrastructure is paramount, and the best thing would be not to have to share the road. Well, that would just be absolutely amazing, but you know what? A lot of times they want to come on the road anyway, and hey, go for it. Just Cyclist, beware. There are bigger things out there that will knock you over and make you go crunch. Paytation. Apparently, it's the dehumanization trait that causes this. Oh, it was, a, and it was a dehumanization trait scale that was part of a survey, which included state, statements such as, I feel like cyclists are mechanic. What? I feel like cyclists are mechanic. And I feel like cyclists aren't sophisticated. What the hell kind of questions are the... Who wrote this nonsense? Lord Almighty. Oh, well. Apparently, for each statement, participants were given an option to agree, disagree, or remain neutral on the scale. How about giving them a cookie? Participants were also asked about their behavior towards cyclists, with some admitting that they had shouted and thrown things at cyclists. I have shouted at cyclists. There have been a few times where I have pulled over at a stoplight and rolled my window down, thank God for electric windows, and said, Sweetheart, pay attention to those around you, because you are much smaller and much more vulnerable than those of us in these metal slash fiberglass cages with four wheels. Paytation. Not everybody will stop for you. I will because I don't want my car scratched because it's a really pretty dark cherry metal flake. So I don't want it scratched. And hitting you would scratch my car. Just saying. So it really is a rather selfish thing on my part. <laughs> Oh, well, I am just about out of time. Thank you, everybody, for putting up with all of this brouhaha and crap olio that my, my wonderful computer that has been with me for so many years. And I love you, my little Inspiron one. And please don't go douche on me. I may have to take you in and have Dr. Terry look at you. Dr. Terry is the local computer guy who is very good. And does not charge an arm and a leg. Because I only have two arms and two legs. And I've grown rather attached to them. 
Now, I will be back on Friday, unless my computer douches, and then even if my computer douches, I may just have to have Grimmy load onto the other computer and walk me through it, because once again, I do have mature blonde hair. <laughs> Along with some teal and purple. <laughs> Just because I can. So, uh, thanks again for putting up with me, for listening in. And uh, be sure to check back at reallibertymedia.com because there's all kinds of way cool stuff going on here. Let me just check the schedule real quick and I can let you know if it will pull up quickly. Come on, Opera, be so kind. I know we've got Ponder Gander coming up. On Friday, I believe that's at noon. Tomorrow, is that Flasher tomorrow at 2 Eastern time with 20% off after he's marked it up 30%? Um, and then I'll be back on Friday for the Freaker Friday edition of the Rocket Chair. And Grimmy and Moose Girl will be on later on Friday, Friday evening for the Freaker's Ball. Saturday at noon Eastern time will be the Dork Table with Flash Rooney Dork and whoever else he can con into playing along and hey you know what if I've got uh, my computer up and running again or maybe in not maybe if I just have time I may even call into flasher just for shits and giggles um, let's see Sunday at noon we got the blues with Grimmy and a rousing game of chat going on in the RLM chat and directly following Grim will be Hal Anthony who's going to open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass Behind the Woodshed. Let's see. Monday is Grimm's Leftovers at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That's always tasty brain food tidbits. And then next week, Wackadoodle Wednesday. Oh, wait, Tuesday, a perfect world with Flash and Vinny. Well, guess what? I made it. I made it. I made it all the way through. Uh, Doctor, can you reform my... Oh, my goodness. That sounds... That sounds naughty, sock. <laughs> Yes, Frumpy, it just might be blanket fort time. In any case, thank you guys ever so much for listening in, putting up with me, being there. You're just so damn awesome. You're the best ever. Honest to God, you truly are. And yeah, I did flush my cash. Oof, that, that sounds like I need to go work on my toilet. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for the giggles, too. I really do love you guys. And I wish you all enough. Good night.